Hello and welcome. My name is Talis Gutter and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this realistic acoustic guitar you can see right here. So as you can see I've gone for the more traditional acoustic guitar look. Um, lighter front, dark edges and then black or I suppose this is more blackish brown um, neck. <clears throat> there are some more brands I can show you here. Uh, but using these, you can see the side of it a bit more. Uh, using the techniques I'm going to be showing you, you can pretty much create any type of guitar you want. Um, classical or acoustic, you won't be able to make a like electric or bass. Um, this is one of the earliest scenes I did. I didn't like this um, type of setup with the stand though. So, but you can see the type, the the level of quality we're going for here. Uh, detail, not quality, sorry. So that's quite cool. Alright, so before we begin, I'm just going to delete this default light and then close this timeline here. We're not going to be using either of those. And then I've already... Um, Loaded in my background images, I'll be providing them in the link below. So just load those up, and the cool thing about these is I actually rendered them out from my previous scene. So what we should be able to do is align them both perfectly without touching these menus right here. So we can just close that. We're not going to need that at all. So let's do this quick. Oh, actually, we will be needing to do that because I don't want to change the location of my origin point. Okay, sorry, my bad. We're going to need to change this after all. We didn't think that one through, did I? Uh, da -da -da. Open up my images here and just move this on over like that. And scale this up, align this as accurately as possible. Just like that, a bit, maybe a bit more. Like that, actually, let's put it back there and Scale it down a bit. Yeah, but I'm sure you know how to line up background images so that just explains exactly what I'm doing. Uh, what I can do now, this one looks like it's unwrapping, not unwrapping, so it looks like it's been, it's fine like that. Okay, cool. So what we're going to be doing now is, okay, so before we start modeling, I just wanted to explain how we're going to be modeling this. Um, actually, let me start just so I can have a good illustration. What we're going to be doing is extruding this all around our guitar around the edge. Why are we going to be doing this? You might ask. Why are we going to do this? You might ask. And why are we going to be doing this? Um, is so we can add in these lines going around the edge of the guitar you can see right here. And in almost all the reference images I've seen online of uh, ac sorry, acoustic guitars, they all have something like um, lines like this or similar things like this um, and I find that if you want to create a realistic acoustic guitar you really have to add something like this um, there's just no two ways about it so this is why we're going to be doing that and you still might be wondering but I don't get why we have to extrude this all around the guitar isn't that a lot of work one we just add a cube and then um, loop cut that and move that around and I'm going to show you why we can't do that or at least why we won't be doing that. Um, and I can show you right here. This is a cube I've just added in and then loop cut it and then just scale these loop cuts like this. And as you can see, it's working quite fine. Um, it's easy enough to just get the guitar shape. Um, but the way these the flow of the geometry is in this guitar, let me show you. Once we start adding these edge loops to get this line effects around the edges, what we've created is this terrible looking line over here. And we don't want that of course because we want to make this look as realistic as possible. So what we can do is scale these down, or perhaps even smooth out the edges like this, but I found that you can get it quite smooth with um, some tedious amount of geometry tweaking. But I found this it's never going to be quite right and it's always going to be a problem later on when you try if you want to readjust something. So that's why we're going to be doing this, even though this um, it's actually not that much work. So yeah, what I'm going to do is delete all of these faces, which is going to be in the guitar, just like that. And then go back into edit mode and then scale this on the Y axis just to about there. To the top of the guitar and then the bottom to the bottom of the guitar just to about there all 
right, so let's begin with uh, extruding, and then I'm just going to extrude this um, just like this, and then I'm going to add another loop cut wherever I feel it needs one. As you can see over here, this is overlapping way too much of the guitar than we want, so we want to just add this like that. We just want it so it's just covering the um, the edges of our guitar. See, that's a bit too much. We don't have to add too many. We don't want to add too many because we're going to have to join these up just now. Just like this is fine. You can see what I'm doing here. And yes, I know. This was actually a problem. <laughs> I didn't mean to do this. I've got some sort of a white thing going on here. But when I made this guitar, um, something weird happened with the geometry when I applied my mirror modifier. But don't worry, I do know a way around it. So our guitar isn't going to have that. So I'm just going to stop over here by this red line. Ooh, notice my end um, string strap thing over here is out of line. <laughs> um, anyway, then we're going to do the same to the other side. Just extrude this all along. Of course, we're going to be adding in a subdivision surface so we don't have to worry about leaving um, sharp edges. Well, to an extent. I don't want an extremely sharp edge, but okay, sharp edges is fine. Another terrible description. <laughs> but it's okay, sharp edges. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and extrude these all the way to this line of here again. And actually, let's bring this out a bit. Alright, so that looks good. Um, Let's go ahead and throw in some of these lines here we're going to be using for our image, just like that. Oh, my bad. Um, because we added in our... I'm going to try to add in sub, um, these loop cuts to the top and the bottom of the guitar. I completely forgot about that. Well, I'm getting all confused here. So just wherever we've added our image here, try to line it up. I was getting a bit confused. Let's see what do we have. What do we have have here? Pretty messed this up. Actually, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be applying this just now. I'm gonna do the the textures. We better to do it then anyway. Okay, so now the fun part. Last thing we want to do before we add in our um, mirror modifier, we're going to join up all these faces. And we're just going to be doing this just by this cool trick over here I can show you. Once you've filled one face, you can just select these two, um, this line here, where into the, with the direction that you want to be filling faces, so then just hit F and it'll automatically do that for you. And I'm just going to fill these faces all the way to um, the edge here, and then I'm going to be adding in two loop cuts over here so we can be joining these up and then with this loop cut selected i'm just gonna straighten it out a bit and hit x x x zero s x zero then just double tap g to move these to our points over here and then we're just going to be connecting these like so all right so doing the same thing over here Trying to keep these as straight as possible for the sake of clean geometry. And you see we're gonna have a bit of a problem over here. So one, two, three. Oops, not three, so I don't mean to um, select those. Uh, one, two, three. Let's add another loop cut over here and just bring that out. And then it's gonna one, two, three, four. Um yeah, okay. Let's finish up here. Okay, is that all the geometry I'm going to be needing? Nope, got any one there. Actually, I don't need one there. This one is this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's finish up this. Using that method I showed you just now, we're going to hit F, 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 and that's cool. So, this over here, as you can see, if we try it in 
add another loop code here, we can have this problem. Um, this isn't a problem now, but once we start adding more geometry, this can be a bit of a, a problem with our subdivision. But we're actually not going to be worrying about that now because we're not going to have that problem later on. Because <laughs> we're, not, we're, not, we're not going to be needing to add more resolution. So, yeah, I suppose it was kind of pointless of me bringing that up. Anyway, I'm going to do the same thing here. And uh, this is going to take a while. Maybe our time lapse to support. Same thing here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. No, this is four. One, two. No, it's not four. Is it four? One, two, three, four. Here it is. Awesome. Now we can fold that up. Okay, so now we're going to be doing the exact same thing to the bottom. And I'll definitely time lapse this part of the video because you've already seen me do it once. You don't need to see me do it a second time. Alright, cool, so this is just about done. Just gotta fill up with these last ones and then bam, there it is. There's our guitar. Well, the start of our guitar. <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and apply our mirror modifier. Our mirror, and then we want to apply this on the x axis. Oops, I'm so used to, Yeah, that's the y axis, sorry, not the x axis. And then let's enable clipping and merge. Then what we want to do to ensure this is actually clipping is. Select and sorry about that guys, I forgot my screen cost keys. Yes again. It's on now. And just make sure these are clipping fine and you can see I'm moving my mouse around frantically and they're not moving, so that means they're clipping. Let's go ahead and apply our armor modifier. And then yeah, that's that. Let's hit control two, um number two, and that's that will apply a subdivision surface of two. So that's yeah, this is looking good, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. If you're wondering what this, uh, right, uh, let's, uh, actually, let's bring these this out here a bit. Uh, let's, uh, let's select optimal, what is this optimal view, op optimal display, and this is only going to show us the, um, if it's where we can physically, that are aff affecting our geometry. So, yeah, let's. Just move these down a bit like this. If you're wondering what this thing is I'm busy using, uh, this thing here I'll show you. So here, this pie menu thing. Um, it's actually called pie menu. Yeah, pie menu interface. Uh, oops, my bad. I always do that. I think I'll learn by now. Um, file browser, that's info. Okay, we'll go to file and then use preferences. It's um, if you just go ahead into add ons and then select a uh, search for Pi, you can see Pi menus official. The best what it is, is just a, a quick way of getting to some of your stuff. I, I really like it, so I think it's very helpful. It just takes a while to get used to. So I recommend uh, checking that out. Okay, so now that we've done this, what we want to do is add in some vertical loop cuts, of course. So I'm just going to add one pretty close to the top and the bottom. Yeah, even closer should be fine. Then we can start. Um, we can start adding some more once you start with the materials. Okay, I'm just going to get some water quick. Okay, so what's next? Now we have that going. Um, <coughs> excuse me. 
case and have some hole in the center of the guitar here. This is pretty tricky for people who don't know how to make holes in objects. But I want to show you a method right here. Because we want, of course, we want this to be a near perfect hole. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I guess I'm just going to make some room over here, as you can see me doing. With all the sides of my circle. Just bringing these out. Just bringing these out. That was a mistake. Bring these out as well. It doesn't have to be uniform. Maybe we should have kept our modifier on. Doesn't matter. I guess I'm going to delete these center verts over here. Just like this. Oops, my bad, sorry. Don't delete the bottom ones. Just the top ones. And then what I'm going to do is delete those. And then I'm going to add in a circle and hit T to open up our menu here. If you haven't um, closed it, if you've closed it like me. And then we're gonna scroll down here to this add circle properties and we're gonna change the amount of vertices to 22. Okay, then I'm just gonna put going to position this circle to where our um our stripes around this side are gonna start. And this is one of the reasons why we're adding a circle instead of just grabbing this side over here and going alt shift s and you know circling it like this is because in order to make these nice um perfectly rounded stripes along along here we're going to make it and a perfectly rounded <laughs> circle okay so that's fine still some of these aren't exactly giving us enough room so I'm gonna move these out just like that that looks fine all right so my bad actually I should have made it 23 or 20, uh, 24 because we want one on this side doesn't matter we can add one manually so it's not there sorry so I'm just gonna add one over there in the center and then um, lucky us, this one already has a center. It doesn't make sense if it's 22 votes. It doesn't make sense because what the heck is this now? Oh, that's um, okay. My bad. Stupid mistake. Alright, so, um, actually, let's dissolve this vert over here and this vert over. Actually, let's not dissolve any verts, just add more verts if we need to. So, I want to do that now. Add some there. And select these. Actually, let's make sure our. Circle we just added is in line with the tops of our with the top of our guitar and it is so we can keep it like that. And then what I'm going to do is the same thing we did there. I'm just gonna fill it over here and then fill here, fill here, fill here. And we start having a problem around here. Let's see, is it gonna make it? Nope, it's not gonna make it. I guess I'm just gonna back up to here. Then we can start adding in some more resolution, uh, some more geometry. This is fine, this isn't a problem. Yeah, that's good. That's not good. Let's add some, some more here. And yeah, looking back, I think maybe we should have kept our modifier. <laughs> anyway. Yes, this is gonna make it. Is it four? It's not four. Let's add in another. Wrong place, I think. But we're gonna have to add one of a. Here, that is right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, awesome. That went well. All right, so um, yeah, that that's okay. That looks um perfectly rounded. So I'm happy with that. Um, you could need to it up a bit if you like, but for the sake of time for the tutorial, I'm not going to. Because what we're going to do then is hit E with this um, circle, we'll just create and select it, and I'm just going to scale this down to where it actually starts to um, indent, and then we're going to hit E again, and then bring it down, not indent, where it starts to, um, you know, go down. <laughs> Terrible explanations today. Anyway. Okay, so 
that is it for this first part of the video. As you can see, we've created our the body of our guitar. Um, we'll be doing some more modeling next um, in part two. I'm not sure how many parts this series is going to have, but if you want to learn how to create this finished result, you can see right here. Um, stay tuned. It might not seem like I know what I'm doing sometimes, but I really do, don't worry. I'm just not very good at talking in these videos, and I apologize for that, but hopefully with time I'll get better. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. If you want to see more, pl um, please like and subscribe.